Abu Dhabi's Temsel had laid a cornerstone in the UAE when it comes to cellular therapy, stem cells, and innovation. I believe we are ahead of our time in this region when it comes to this kind of treatment. Our center is the first of its kind center in, in Abu Dhabi and the UAE, and was established in March 2019 with the mission of improving people's lives by pioneering research and clinical application of cell therapy hematopoietic stem cell transplantation and regenerative medicine. Abu Dhabi Stem Cell Center inspires a lot of the people who are working here and not only uh, the team which is already here but also attracts other young people to work here and participate in the research and also in the establishment of these new therapies here in the Emirates. There is this uniqueness here in, in, in the UAE, being the first uh, research and education center in the United Arab Emirates. And not only this, it was the only center which conducted human clinical trials. We develop a methodology for harvesting the stem cells from peripheral blood from the patients suffering from COVID-19 and, and deliver this treatment to nebulization to control the symptoms of uh, this terrible disease. For the time being, our focus is cellular therapy. CAR-T therapy, bone marrow transplant, all the innovative uh, treatment that we can conduct in terms of pre-transplant, transplant and post-transplant care. We created the first program for extracorporeal photophoresis, a very important uh, therapeutic alternative for patients suffering from several conditions like graft versus host disease and Cesare syndrome. We uh, try to establish uh, new uh, cell therapy methods besides stem cell manipulations like T-cell uh, depletion or positive selection of stem cells. We also establish CAR T-cell therapy. We have the infrastructure now at ADSCC to manufacture CAR T-cells ourselves in the GMP laboratories. Uh, there are challenges uh, for allogeneic transplant here in the UAE. Uh, mainly the availability of, of stem cell donors. Of course, uh, we don't have a donor registry yet in the United Arab Emirates. At the moment, uh, only siblings are donors, uh, but we hope to expand this to matched unrelated and also haploidentical donors uh, in the future. When we speak about improvement for any program, whether it's a cellular therapy program or any other treatments that we offer, we would like to widen our horizon in terms of who can get it, whether from the UAE or outside the UAE. We would like to also look at the less privileged uh, population that cannot afford it and look for ways to offer this treatment. And also implement the new innovation within the treatment to reduce the complication and build on the better clinical outcome. The team made up of doctors and nurses and all of the, you know, the staff that deal with samples and all the bits that go into it, I have to say, have been incredible here. The Markaz Aza Abharni brought me, for the fact that, even though the size of the Markaz was not a big deal, it was 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 a big deal, احترام وكل ادب وحسن المعامله وصراحه بالامانه جميع الاسئله اللي تطرقت لها جاوبوني بشكل مبسط وواضح وسلس. I'm proud of the people that works in the center. Again, uh, the assets uh, is the human capital. We want to create these holistic centers that take care not only of our patients but also of our students. And, and also of our physicians and, and researchers, that all of them come together to the same hub in order to provide the best comprehensive care. Abu Dhabi Stem Cell Center is promote the interaction here in the Emirates with all the colleagues uh, working on the same field, that we uh, explain them what new therapies are coming along in the future and we work closely together. Abu Dhabi Stem Cell Center is reaching out to all these clinicians but also to researchers to uh, focus on this effort. Abu Dhabi Stem Cell Center uh, vision is to be the hub, to be an incubator, and to be also a place where spin-up can happen. In the next five years, uh, the roadmap is pretty clear for the team on what we are going to achieve and uh, what we are going to present uh, 
for the country and the UAE.